Good day to you. Mathematics has been applied to objects and buildings since long ago, and little did we know we are always using mathematics in our daily lives. So in this video, we will talk about a very special figure with special features. Along with those, we will also talk about uniquely designed architectural infrastructure. Moreover, we will see the significance of mathematical figures in the architectural and mathematical world. Furthermore, these figures are called conic sections and there are specifically four of those but we are going to talk about one in this video. Without further ado, this video is going to talk about the Kobe Port Tower. It is indeed a phenomenal tower. With its shape, it leaves most people in question on how it still stands. So let us have an overview of the Kobe Port Tower. This tower started construction in 1962 and then a year later it was completed. This skyscraper it is a landmark of the port city of Kobe, Japan. It was designed by Nikken Sekei Company which is an engineering company in Japan. But unfortunately, the tower got momentarily close for its renovation from 2009-2010, which is a year after. It was the very first building that features a pipe lattice structure in which you can see in the picture where it encloses the compartments with overlapping steel bars. The structure is similar to a tsuzumi. It is a traditional Japanese drum which is also similar to an hourglass but in a tsuzumi, its middle section is slim like it has been pinched. So let us proceed to the architectural background. Kobe Port Tower Architectural Background The tower was planned and designed by the architects Koichi Ito and Naka Takeyo from architectural firm Nekenseke Company. Architectural Features The tower stands at a height of 108 meters. Its base has a diameter of 25 meters. It stands at 65.5 meters above the ground at its narrowest point. And lastly, it has 8 levels. Did you know that the Kobe Fort Tower was sold by the great Hanshim earthquake in 1995 due to its earthquake tower system? And the dumpers can be added to allow the building to stand still while shaking side by side. The tower is also surrounded by 32 red steel staves that symbolize welcome vessels returned to the shop. So, we chose this architectural design because aside from its structural appearance and beauty, it applied the concepts of hyperbola, which is one of the conic sections came to us an interesting concept when we saw it because of for a shape or figure like that it showed significance in terms of architectural integrity, strength, and relevance in the field of mathematics. While some of you cannot comprehend the fact that this architectural design holds significance, we will talk about that later when we describe it further. The fifth slide is the review about the hyperbola. A hyperbola is the locus of a point that travels in a plane with a constant ratio of distance from a fixed point called the focus and a fixed line called the directrix. So what is a locus? A locus is a set of all points. It usually forms a curve or surface that satisfies a given condition for a figure. It travels in a plane with constant ratio. It means that the distance from a point and the conic forms a constant ratio with the distance between the focus and the rectrix. A focus is a point in which the conic section is constructed. And the directrix is a line that is used to construct a conic section. A hyperbola has two poci and directrices, and it also has two asymptotes. As we can see, there are two poci points. The midpoint of the two poci points is called the center of hyperbola. First of all, I will explain what is conic section. Conic 
Each section is a diagram made up of a plane and right circular cone intersecting. A conic section may be a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or a hyperbola, depending on the angle of the plane with respect to the cone. Hyperbolous value in the Kobe Port Tower. First of all, what is hyperbola? Hyperbola is a symmetrical open curve created by a circular cone intersecting with a plane at a smaller angle with its axis than the cone side. Because of its hyperbolic form, this tower used less material than one with a different conic shape. You can see everything on one side of the tower if you stand at a point there. And you can see everything on the other side if you move to the other side and stand at a point there. So here are pictures with different angles to provide you more details about its hyperbolic shape and the building itself. Port Tower presents a hyperbola because of its hourglass shape and its resemblance to a Japanese traditional drum, which is a Suzumi. Then it was constructed by the Nikken Sekei Company and also with the help of the architects and engineers Koichi Ito and Naka Takeo. Also, we talk about the hyperbolic design's significance. It provided a strong earthquake resistant design. In addition, the tower's design made it cheaper to build unlike any other conic shapes. With this, we can conclude that if the building's hyperbolic shape has significance and importance, so should other hyperbolic objects in real life. I hope you've learned something in this video. Thank you for watching.